Hey everyone, welcome to the Monthly Review, the monthly show on language learning. Where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is how to achieve your language goals when your motivation is low. Are you terrible at staying motivated with language learning? Good, because then you'll love today's episode. If you want to learn how to stay motivated or regain motivation if you've lost it, stick around. There are five simple ways to stay motivated and keep going. And one of them you'll probably hate, but you need to hear it anyway. But first, if you're looking for new, free language resources and downloads, here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the How to Talk About Your Feelings PDF eBook. You'll learn over 90 words and phrases for feelings with this bonus PDF picture eBook. Download and review it on any device. And second, the Correcting Mistakes Conversation Cheat Sheet. Learn how to correct others and say, no, you're wrong, and other fun, useful sentence patterns. Download this PDF cheat sheet for free. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. How to achieve your language goals when your motivation is low. So, some time ago, you made the decision to learn a new language. You took the first step. You started, which is super important. But the second half of the battle is to keep going, which is where most people fall off. And for that, you need motivation. So how do you stay motivated or regain motivation if you've lost it? There are five simple ways to stay motivated and keep going. One, find a way to enjoy learning. And this one is important because if you want to reach a goal like learning a language, what will get you there? Is it A, your desire to reach this goal or B, the process, the actual learning? You can want and dream about the goal all you want, but it's the learning, not the wanting, that actually gets you speaking the language. So you must actually like the learning process, or at least not hate it. So what can you do here? If you're one of the few people that genuinely love learning regardless of how, you've hit the jackpot and you'll be fine. But if you're like most people who've had a rocky relationship with trying to learn things, you should find what works for you. If you prefer to listen to audio lessons and podcasts, then go with that. If you prefer reading, check out our extensive reading books. And if you enjoy writing things out by hand, check out our free language worksheets. The only right answer here is find what you like, but make sure it actually works. Because you may like watching YouTube videos, you may like doing vocabulary games on your phone, but if you can barely speak the language after weeks and months, then you're not actually learning anything and it doesn't work. All right, next up, Two, learn with an actual teacher, whether with our live group classes, our Premium Plus teacher, or your own teacher. Having that human interaction and someone to answer to is automatically more motivating. Just think, if you do language lessons on Sundays at 8 p.m., if it's between A, a teacher, and B, an app on your phone, you'd definitely be more motivated to make it to the lesson with the actual teacher. There's an actual person waiting for you who will talk to you, ask you questions, and give you feedback. And the app that's sitting on your phone, somewhere on the third or fourth screen, it's not exactly going to get you motivated. If it did, you'd be fluent already. But you're not, and here we are. Number three, you must see your progress. This is the next best way to stay motivated. Imagine going to the gym for a few weeks, and now you're finally starting to see some muscle in the mirror. You see results, and that's pretty motivating, right? Those results make you want to keep on going because you feel like you're getting better. And because you're getting better, it's kind of becoming fun. But how do you apply that to language learning? Because you can't really see language muscles. The good news is there are a few things you can do here. A, if you're learning with a teacher, ask for feedback. If a native speaker tells you you've improved, how happy would you be to hear that? B, next, track your progress with our dashboard on the site. Remember, the one thing you can control with language is the time you put in. And language learning is a function of time. The more time you put in, the better you get. If you're ever wondering why you're not improving, well, the easy answer is usually you're not putting in enough time. And our learning system will track that for you. 
When you finish a lesson, the dashboard tracks that and shows you how far you've come. The hours studied, the lessons completed, how close you are to finishing the beginner level and leveling up to intermediate level. These are just two ways you can see your progress grow. Fourth, have something to lose. Now, this method is unusual and most people will not do it, but it works really well for the few that do. The fact is, no one likes losing, and avoiding loss is such a powerful motivator that it's well known in psychology. Studies show that the amount of pain you feel over losing $10 is much greater than the positive feelings you get over finding $10. So how do you apply this to language? You can use this loss aversion as motivation. Just invest in a language learning textbook or a learning program or a class. The point is, if you invest, it means you care enough about your goals to invest. You don't want to waste your investment, and as such, you're emotionally committed to this goal. You'll value and use the resource a lot more, unlike the free apps you downloaded and forgot about. Now, you'd think that this last tip would be the one that people would hate to hear, but it's not. It's the fifth and last one. Five, keep on going. The tricky thing with motivation is you can wish for it, you can want it all you want, you can watch videos about it, but true motivation comes after taking action, not before, which is why all of the tips we mentioned involve some sort of action. So if you don't take action and learn, the motivation won't come. So stick with the language and keep going for two reasons. First, eventually you'll see results, which make it more fun and inspires more action. And second, if you stick with the language long enough, the language becomes a part of your identity, which is exactly what you want. At that point, you don't have to motivate yourself because it's natural. You just do it because it's who you are. So take action first and the motivation will follow. Thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about the satisfaction of reaching goals. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way, and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye.